Well, it's Thursday. The internet is still broken. That's what we sold on eBay. That's it. Just that. We've had that for a year, at least. Uh, bought that for like 25 cents or 50 cents at a yard sale and sold it for seven whopping dollars. The problem with this set is I didn't look at it very well when I bought it. I just grabbed it because I liked it. And then on the bottom, you can see all the little chipped bubbles on the edges. There's quite a few of them. <laughs> this is completely my bad. I'm actually surprised I left it online as long as I did. But it finally sold for $7. So we're going to get that boxed up and then we're going to... We're going to load that box and this stuff that is going to go to the antique booth along with that crazy lamp also going to the antique booth. Yesterday I didn't video. I tried and I just kept having issues so I gave up. But we sold the crap out of stuff yesterday. Locally, not online. We sold a couple of things online, but I did get rid of that dresser that was there, $95. Whoop whoop. Also sold a bunch of other stuff to the same lady that bought the dresser. But anyway, on our way to the antique booth, we're going to we're going to yard sale our way out there, basically. Uh, so hopefully, we'll find some cool stuff along the way. This guy is supposed to be porch picked up today for thirty bucks. While we're not here, we should see how that goes. And remember this piece we picked up at the flea market for forty dollars. We actually sold this for 150 to a restoration company. So they are actually going to restore this, which is pretty, that's pretty epic. Like the profit margins. And before we even get out the door, I think Rich sold these or they're pending, pending pickup for when we get back. $200 for the three of them. Hopefully that one goes through, because that's a pretty epic sale, especially for something you garbage picked. We are on to a huge community sale, so chances are we should be able to find something good. I have somehow lost Richard, but I grabbed this tray out of a free pile. It's cool, it's old, it's got a little bit of damage on the side right here, but I don't know, Rich might be able to glue that, make it better. Alright, yeah, on to the yeah. next. Yeah. First two were a bust. That globe was plastic, it was new, it was junk. Let's see what else we can locate. Man, yeah, not really seeing much of this one either. That's hilarious. Too funny. We're going to see them all day now. Watch. We ended up bailing on the community wide sale. Too many people shop at Target, and I don't shop at Target. So we are moving elsewhere. This one looks kind of promising. Not bad. Setup is good. Prices aren't terrible, but they're not great either. This I might get $14, but it is broken. Rich finally broke our bad streak. Paid a dollar for all those. They were 10 cents a piece. I got 10 of them. This is a good combination. These two seem to sell together on eBay for a little bit of money. Meatloaf. You can't and then go we got yeah Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson and Eagles, and Beach Boys, Don Henley, Genesis, Billy Joel. We did swell for a dollar. Finally, Stewart, hopefully this is where our day turns because it's like noon. We have not bought anything until now. Yep, I'd say at this this point in time, Rich has broken our bad luck streak. We bought all of those CDs for five dollars. And this is an old microphone used in ham radio and also radio stations. It's 
to be determined on what I'm going to get, but I've noticed that they sell anywhere between $35 and $175. So we got it for 15 a huge gap there. So I haven't bought anything, but Rich has just killed it. Absolutely killed it. Well, he's keeping up his streak, and I am keeping up my streak. I still haven't bought anything. But he did pick up... Early to mid-1800 Stradivari copy. Uh, this exact model just recently sold in worse condition part to repair for $580 at auction on eBay. Some have sold Whoa. it to thousands of dollars. Whoa. We paid 20 bucks. I finally broke the streak, even though Rich was the one that found them. Actually, I think he found all three of them. So, I'm actually not sure if this is my purchase or not, because Rich found them. But we did make it to the antique booth. We have crammed everything in here. Funny thing is, this is not ours. So we actually have to take this to the front with us and let them know that, that is, that's not ours. It's been pretty dead. We only sold one thing, I think, this week. But we were pre-warned, and we are very close to being able to actually pay our rent. We just need to sell, like, a couple more things. And then we'll be in profit, even though it won't be, like, a ton of profit. Still have the giant macrame. The thing is so crazy. Those are new. It looks good though. That's ours. I never knew we had one of those. Yeah, that's ours. That's cool. That's new. And that's pretty much it. You guys have seen it before, unless you're new to the channel, then obviously you haven't seen it before. This is our antique booth. And what it looks like when it's crammed full of stuff. Alright, we're gonna yard sale our way back home. Wish us luck. One, well, two. I'm just gonna hold the money, and he's just gonna buy stuff. Bud Zeppelin in through the outdoor. Fresh Prince, Jazzy Jeff. I don't know. Eagles. Poison. You're up. Fat boys crushing. All mint. Spent a dollar a piece on those. Oh, I love garage sales. Rich gets credit for the five dollar keyhole desk, but we both spotted this lamp. It was five dollars. We're gonna load this stuff up right now. We're done, we're back at the house, and uh, the concrete bunny is gone. $30 should be in the pickup bin, which it is. Sweet. Bought that for $6 from a thrift store a week ago. Oh man, dude's here for the cabinets. Well, it appears that he did purchase them. All of them. He sure did sell those cabinets. Not bad for a garbage pick flip. 200 bones. On to the next. And welcome to Mostly Rich's Hall. This is everything that we got today out garage sailing. I guess we can start with the music. He bought all those CDs for $5. You could tell she just wanted them gone. At first she's like, oh, you can do 10 for $2. And then she's like, actually, you could do 15 for $2. And Rich is looking through. And there's some really good titles. I mean, a lot of them from like my era good one no idea who that is Ooh, 1997 country christmas i don't know what we're gonna do with that one adam stanley third eye blind it's a good one no idea blues traveler love me some blues traveler the cult what else we got in here? Rob Zombie. Skid Row. Anyway, a lot of really good titles. We do have to go through them because there's like, 
there's a few just burned junk CDs, but for $5, I think we did pretty small considering we're selling them in the booth, two, three, four dollars a piece, depending on the CD. And they are flying out of there. I put four more today while we were there. He also got these for 10 cents a piece. Also really good titles. That other meatloaf and this meatloaf, I guess, sell for pretty good money together. Billy Joel, Genesis, Eagles, Rod Stewart, some good titles. Then we'll go over to the records. He's pretty much got every, like, anyway. I mean, really good records. I think that's the one he doesn't know about uh he was telling me some of the prices he, he sold this exact re uh yeah record i almost said cd again this exact record he has sold twice twice already before for 15 dollars a piece so he knows for sure he can get 15 just out of that one poison anyway some really good titles in there let me move this stuff out of the way and we'll get to the stuff behind it. I can show this. Well, he's getting his stuff together. He's got a plan for the CDs. Um, I grabbed this out of a free pile. It is a vintage tray, but it does need some, some glue. So I think Rich can fix that pretty easily. I just have to put it in his way enough times where he'll do it. Now we can go with probably the two coolest finds. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my gosh, so cool. Lamp was $5. How do you turn that down? I have not looked it up yet. I have no idea what it's worth. Definitely killer. This does move. I love it. I think we're probably going to stick this in the antique booth. I have no idea what kind of price tag I'm going to put on it yet. This is another rich find. He got that for $15. I don't I don't know. It's pretty sweet. I love the way it looks. The desk. The desk was Rich's thing too. He got the desk and chair for five bucks. It's awesome. I'm probably gonna put the desk up as is for $65. He also grabbed these. For two dollars i'm probably gonna take the ropes off of them and tag just the pulley systems for at least 10 or 15 a piece those are sweet oh look it's the one thing i grabbed i got this guy for 50 cents he's like paper mache i'm pretty sure he's vintage but i'm not certain i haven't looked him up yet but i feel like for 50 cents it was worth taking a risk and for $20, this was definitely worth taking a risk. I think this is probably the best find from today. All right, let's, let's break this bad lad open. Maybe. This, even the case is pretty. I love it. That is a killer piece. It's in pretty good shape considering its yes. age. I mean, it's an almost 200 year old violin. So the glue has came undone, so it is separating, but it's not busted. So a luthier can reset everything and glue it back, but. Look at the mother of pearl in there. Yeah, it is a very. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Very nice violin. Um, Prices are all over the place. One just recently sold that was basically almost taken apart for around five hundred and ninety dollars at auction. So, and I double checked and cross referenced the model number, and this is legitimate. It's awesome. So we will let you know how we sell it, what it sells for, once it sells. And that's everything we picked up garage sailing. Stay tuned because we're actually still going to do some garbage picking. We're running really low on boxes. So we are going to run the garbage route. 
Even if we just come home with boxes, they are, we're in dire need. We did all right today. Not a bad haul, if I do say so myself. Completely forgot to add these three to Rich's haul. That little crab dude in the middle, he is probably my favorite, A. And B, he's probably worth the most. I couldn't find anything on the bird or the butterfly, but paid a buck a piece for him. Time for garbage picking. Pretty sure I've seen an old metal wagon. I did. Tires are dragging, but I don't think I care. Oh, Rich's favorite kind of garbage, the electronic kind. I don't know, that'd be good garbage, who knows? Looks, ooh, done it. I seen galvanized. Can I get to it though? Slight help, but we got it. Went to grab some boxes and this fell out. 20 years of Dilbert. I can't believe somebody was gonna throw that out. What? Either a cool little mini fridge or a scrap mini fridge, one of the two. What the heck is that giant bag for? Oh yeah, maybe a Christmas tree. That makes sense. And that is that little trumpet dude getting picked up, which is actually a cornet, I think, but it's gonna get restored. And we're done. Soundbar, the Denon stuff, the Poke Audio doodad, that's all going to have to be tested. I did look up this 20 Years of Dilbert book, and that is not a cheap book. I think <laughs> I'll probably put it up for like 18 bucks, and that's that's pretty fair. Uh, we also got the crappy radio flyer, some scrap metal. That's not scrap. We'll take that to the little sale that we're doing on Sunday. We're going to test that. Um, and I believe that's all. We did alright though for not being a very long route. Thanks for coming along with us today, and we'll do it again very soon. Bye!